You know, there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with tape. Like this? How many pieces of tape can I run through? What about five? What about 20? What about 50? Oh. Oh. That one hurt. That one hurt. Well, this is gonna take too long, so let's just skip to 150. We're gonna need a lot of duct tape. Dude, this thing is dense. Oh, I don't wanna do this anymore. You know, there's much more productive things you could do with tape. So let's show you what. Now this is a tape diagram in math. Why, you ask? It's because it looks like a bunch of strips of tape. Weird, right? We use tape diagrams to break down ratio problems. So be ready to be flexible in math. What the fuck? So, let's use a tape diagram to break down a ratio word problem. So get a load of this. Sam and Maya are making fruit punch for a party. The recipe calls for three cups of orange juice to five cups of pineapple juice. If they want to make a large batch using 15 cups of orange juice, how many cups of pineapple juice do they need? Wow, that's a lot. So let's tape this up. Well, the first thing we notice is there's a ratio of three to five. Well, the first thing you have to do in a tape diagram is make your tape diagram following your ratio of three to five. Then you have to label, what does this three represent? This was our orange juice. And what was the five representing? Our pineapple juice. This is how you set up all your tape diagram problems to break down ratio problems, because we love tape. Then we have to look at what we did to our ratio. Let's review. It says they wanted to make a batch using 15 cups of orange juice. Now, we must think, what does this 15 go with? Our orange juice, our pineapple juice, or our total juice? Well, it goes with our orange juice. Why? Because it says so in the word problem. Don't overthink it, people. Now, all we have to do is use division. See, our tape diagrams help us visualize how we need to break down this problem. We have a three to five ratio, but we know we want to turn our orange juice into 15. So with this tape diagram, we have three boxes for our orange juice, and I want to turn that into 15. So take your 15 of orange juice that you want to have, and you're going to divide it or split it into three, because that's how many boxes I have. 15 divided by three gives us five. So all we do is put five in each box. And the awesome part about a tape diagram, once you find the value of one box, they all have to be equivalent. So I have to put five in every single box. See, our tape diagram helps us break it down. Our ratio is still equivalent, still three or five, but you can see we multiply each side by five. That means I will have a total pineapple juice of 25 cups. Yeah. It looks like tape really does fix everything. Liam is baking cupcakes for a school fundraiser. The recipe uses a ratio of two cups of sugar to seven cups of flour. If Liam uses 45 cups of ingredients, how many cups of sugar did he use? Step one, we have to make our tape diagram. We see two cups of sugar for seven cups of flour. But our word problem just says they used 45 cups of ingredients. We gotta find what do we connect our 45 cups of ingredients to? Our sugar or our flour? Well, here's the thing. Both of these are our ingredients. Sugar is an ingredient, flour is an ingredient. So I actually have to find the total. To find our total, we have to look at our ingredients. We have two cups of sugar and seven cups of flour. So let's count our ingredients. That means each batch of cupcakes I make has nine total cups of ingredients. So instead of putting our 45 with our sugar and our flour, we need to combine these two because the 45 cups of total ingredients would fit into all of these boxes. Now we just have to use division. 45 divided by the nine boxes we have to fill gives us five in each box. Now the question had asked us how many cups of sugar do they use when they use 45 ingredients total? 
So we took our 45, divided it by nine. So we found five goes in each box. Now it's easily visualized because sugar has five and 10. So how many total cups of sugar did we use? 10. We gotta try one more so you can see tape diagrams in action. Jake and Lily are mixing paint to make the perfect shade of green. They use a ratio of five parts yellow to two parts blue. If they used 20 parts of yellow paint, how many parts of blue paint did they need? Step one, create your tape diagram. Step two, label your tape diagram. Step three, find out what it wants us to connect. It says they used 20 parts of yellow paint. So does that 20 go with our yellow or our blue? Obviously, it goes with our yellow. Then, I divide. I have five boxes of yellow. I divide my 20 by five. 20 divided by five gives us four. So guess what goes in each box? Four. As we can see, four, eight, 12, 16, 20. That does make 20. And once you find out what goes in one box, you fill every box with it. So when I have 20 parts yellow, how many parts of blue do I have? Four, eight, I would have eight parts blue. Tape diagrams are just great ways for us to visualize and break down ratio problems. Now you try this one. A bakery sells chocolate and vanilla cupcakes in a ratio of four to seven. The bakery sells 21 vanilla cupcakes. How many cupcakes did they sell in total? And we're back. Let's check your work. You should have made your ratio of four to seven. And labeled it. You should have put your 21 with your vanilla cupcakes. Because there's seven boxes, you should have divided 21 by seven, which means every single one of my vanilla boxes should have a three in it. And to keep things equivalent, if one of my boxes have three, they all should have threes. Now that I have it so wonderfully visualized, I see I have 21 vanilla cupcakes and three, six, nine, 12 chocolate cupcakes. Now to find my total cupcakes they sold, I'm gonna have to combine these. 21 plus 12 gives me a total of 33 cupcakes sold. Now you can use tape in safer ways. Whoa.